All right, everybody. Aloha! I'm Hawaiian Dan, and this is TalkFishTV.com, and thank you so much for joining me tonight. Tonight is March 9th, 2020. It is Monday. We are going to catch the very tail end of the incoming tide, see if we can't find some early, early, super early spring stripers. If we find them, we're going to keep on fishing through the outgoing tide and see if we can't keep on producing. It is a full moon tonight. Actually, it's the day after the full moon, but we're still holding that full moon cycle. The water temperature is about 47 degrees, 48 degrees been pretty mild winter up here in the northeast we've had some pretty warm days here lately so hopefully that inshore water back in the back bays and stuff all the mud flats have warmed up and there's some bait out there producing which means there'll be some stripers producing and we're gonna see if we can't find them all right my mans and women aloha all right my friends I just want to give you a heads up on what I'm fishing on tonight this is the Sea Eagle Fish Shop 126 here at the front of the nose we have the running lights we have a scotty triple rod holder camera boom right here in the middle with the gopro and the sennheiser mic this is the scotty anchor lock it is a single hand use you can lock it you can unlock it it is mad awesome no more cleats involved i'm completely obsessed with scotty products this is the multi-purpose storage box from seagull.com i have my anchor and my lines running in here it has two built-in rod holders of course i've got my pen fierce rod paired up right now with a dyro legalis and of course early spring small bait fish so we're going with what worked last year the four inch tsunami holographic black back split tails which brings us to our accent paddle for backup we have a foot control right here that is for my trolling motor in the back i have a custom casting bar that i can stand up against while using this foot controller we have scotty rocket launchers on each side i also have a lawrence fish finder on the front i believe this is a hook two or cheaper model transducer built-in fish ruler eva foam pad you can see i removed some of the accessories from the middle so that there's no trip hazard go down to the swivel seat this is the backpack that has my tackle into it i'm going to try to go light this year and take only what's catching fish back to another scotty rod holder that's hooked to my swivel seat cup holder scotty rod holder large scotty rod holder pen uh fishing rod i believe this is the pen pursuit although that reels down so i have it paired up with just a cheap zebco this is my Minn Kota battery center with dual circuit breakers one for the accessory plugs the 12 volt accessory plugs here on the side where i can plug in my camera i can plug in my cell phone i can plug in my lights this is where the trolling motor hooks up i also have a boom light on there or a running light uh navigation light so they can see me at night this is the water snake shadow mk2 this is a trolling motor it's actually a bow mounted trolling motor that's foot controlled and i have mounted it to this custom frame you see i have at the rear so that i have this wheel cart that allows me to wheel the fish up fully loaded all the time straight down into the water the wheels flip up in the up position i'm off to the races when i go to land i put the wheels down drive it right up onto the actual uh, boat ramp and then wheel it up the rest of the way we have another pen rod here of course everybody recognizes this bad boy this is the workhorse pen slammer this is a 3500 this is paired up with the tsunami I, i'm sorry i believe this is a bomber pearl and white similar to the sp Mino chicken scratch this is a long shot seven you see i removed the other treble hooks and left just one in the back to minimize the damage to any fish let me walk back over here too early spring small bait fish grass shrimp are usually the first to arrive so we're going to be seeing if they can catch something this worked really good last year super early spring this is a small tiny i believe it's called a popeye bucktail you can pick them up just about anywhere back over to the other side triple rod holder of course cell phone holder that i had rigged up with a scotty uh, post mount to a ram cell phone holder of course my boker grips and my accent paddle here again transformer paddle for backup so that's pretty much it guys we're going to get out into the water and see if we can't catch some fish aloha just wanted to give you a quick shot of what the wheels look like when they're up that's what they look like and we're off to the races boom all right friends we're back at the dock safe and sound what can i say there's nothing doing right now nothing showing on the fish finder nothing on the bottom 
nothing moving, nothing stirring, no bait, no nothing. Uh, we're still pretty early in the season. We really only had one good day, which was today of warm weather. So I think I'm just going to keep on it. I'll keep you informed. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you can get the latest reports because this is about the only way that you're going to get these videos. Um, I don't think I'll be uh, able to fit the time in to air these videos through the other avenues that I have traditionally in the past. Facebook has gotten pretty tight about how often I can share these videos. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification bell so you get the latest information. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. Just look for Hawaiian Dan or Talkfish TV. And until next time, this is Hawaiian Dan of TalkfishTV.com signing out. Don't forget to spread that aloha.